Hey everyone, I'm showing off a project that I made last year during the COVID lockdowns. Um, what I did is I had an IBM 5150 uh, PC case laying around. It was empty, it didn't have the board in it, and I always wanted to put something inside of it. After playing around with different AT Socket 7, Socket 8 boards, I found a Socket 7 board that fit and was able to be run off, of, off an original XT PSU which I have inside as well. This is running an Intel Pentium MMX 200 megahertz. It's running Windows 98 second edition, and obviously it supports two screens. So Windows 98 second edition does support dual monitors, but finding a graphics card was the real hassle. What I settled on is a Radeon 9200 with 128 megab megabytes of video RAM. The system also has 128 meg of system RAM. It has a sound blaster, it has a graphics gamepad, a 720K 3.5 inch floppy, a 360K 5.25 floppy, a 100 megabyte zip drive, a CD drive, an 8 gigabyte compact flash, and a, an Atari portfolio card reader. So let's turn it on. It's running an original IBM uh, AT keyboard, which is also compatible with the board. So let's turn it on. You can see the memory test, it has 128 megabytes of uh, RAM. The purpose of this computer is to make floppy disks for my vintage computers. That's why it has a five and a quarter 360 gig drive instead of a 1.2 meg. Uh, this computer also makes uh, cards for my Atari portfolio. Uh, the primary uh, use case for this computer is running DOS. However, it does run Windows 98 fairly well. Um, ideally, it would be running a Pentium 2, but an MMX uh, Pentium at 200 megahertz works fine enough. So this kind of computer is great for running uh, any kind of DOS games, as well as early Windows 95, 98 games. It can run Age of Empires. It can run uh, Age of Empires 2, Flight Simulator, The Office Suite. So let's load up Doom. Oh, Doom runs fine. It's kind of weird to play with an XT AT keyboard because I don't have control in the right spot, but it works. It can also run newer games such as Age of Empires, just fine. I haven't been able to find a game that supports dual monitors though. That little light in the uh, in the case is actually a hard drive indicator that I wired up right to the motherboard headers. So that's a quick show off of my Windows 98 machine running dual monitors inside an IBM 
uh, 5150 case. Thanks for watching.